Hey everyone, this is Greg Nolan of Nolan Studios here with another tutorial. We do a lot of sports video and today what we're going to be looking at is making a title that will show um, sports information specifically for wrestling today. A lot of times um, you'll see wrestling video online and unless you can see the scoreboard it's really difficult to, to tell what's going on unless somebody's doing commentary. Um, a, a lot of tournaments and things the scoreboard is way up on the side that they use for basketball but the mats right in the middle of the gym and so you just simply can't see it. So what I came up with is a way to make a title that will allow you to keep track of the scores you go along. And it does take a little bit of extra work, but I'll show you how to do it. So Apple Motion goes along with Final Cut Pro 10 really nicely. So what we're going to do here, this is the very first screen you get when you open uh, Motion. You actually see Final Cut Pro behind it, but it, it won't be there for very long. Now, we tend to like to do 720. Full HD is is really large and, and mostly when you're viewing on YouTube 720p is, is just fine. And we do like to do 60 frames a second. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what we're going to work on for this particular project is a Final Cut Pro title. Now, um, what we are going to do is we're actually going to click on the background and delete it because what we want to do here I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that type so we're going to kind of start with a very blank slate because we want to have a couple things on the sides here that are just going to sit on the edge so we're going to go to the library and we are going to take some shapes and what we're basically going to do is get kind of a rounded rectangle and we're going to put it in the corner here because what um, what the wrestling um, uh, what the wrestlers actually wear is a green or a red um, band around their ankles so you can keep score and I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that. So now we have two of them. I'm just going to actually simply move this to the other side. And we're going to also make sure that our view here, as far as zoom, is so we can see this. All right, yeah, I'm glad we did that because we are painfully inadequate in how we're doing that. In fact, I'm going to delete that because I want it to be roughly the same size. I simply made a copy of it and I'm going to move it over here. Now <clears throat> what motion does is it'll give a title that's going to play however long you have in in the timeline here. So this is about 10 seconds. Now these are not <clears throat> the the right colors at the moment so we're going to go to the inspector as I have changed that and we're just going to simply change the fill color. So we need a green one and we need a red one. I tend to like to put the green on the right and the red on the left. So let's do that. Let's comb over here. <clears throat> We're still in the inspector. We will grab a nice green and that will work there. Alright, so that kind of takes care of our boxes. I may need a little bit more nudge there. <clears throat> For the green and, and the red. Now I also want something up here that I can show what period is and down here we're gonna make one that shows the the weight class so I'm just gonna keep copying now this is gonna be red again and we'll change that but we'll stick that right in the middle we'll change the shape a little bit and I'm just gonna put that back to white Actually, let's also view some grids here um, so we can make sure we'll go with the grid here so we can make sure we're right in the middle. That looks like it's lined up nicely. We'll go back to white and we'll borrow the white one here. We'll make a copy there. We'll borrow
borrow the white one. We'll make that a little bigger because we're going to have to actually put um, some text in there. So that's kind of what we're looking at at the moment. And we're almost done. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and turn off the grid now that we've got it all lined up because Not sure that I want to be looking at the grid. Okay, at this point, need text boxes in each of these items. So we simply need to just take our text and click right there. Once we, we're going to start with a zero. And when we click off, um, we'll be able to kind of position that. Now again, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to paste it, so we have another one that we can put here, I'm going to paste it again, we'll move it here, because what we're going to do here, and we'll, we'll put in um, a default weight, typically in, in high school, um, what they'll do is they'll start with, at least in Colorado this year, I'll start with 106. Now we're going to have to adjust this <coughs> to 106. Here, let's click off here so we'll get back to... And we definitely need to change the color so we can see it. So let's get back to our style. Color needs to be darker. We have 106. Click out here so we can move it around. And that actually will be fine. <coughs> and we need a dark font again, so I'm going to make a copy. And I'm simply just using Control or Command C and Command V to do that. And we need to kind of tweak this a little bit. And of course, we actually start with first period. And the nice thing about this, and you'll see what, when we actually use this in Final Cut Pro that all these values we are able to change. This needs to be centered up a little bit more. And the next thing I'd like to do is I would like to add um, a text box right here. And I'm going to justify this right so when we type something in it's going to go from this point to this point. So we're going to type this. I'm just going to simply say last name. And then when we highlight that, we're going to come back over to our format and we're going to click on Write Justify. Now we'll just tweak it because I think it might be nice to look at right there. And then, because that already looks good, we'll Command C, Command V to make another copy of it. We're going to put it over here. But on this side, we're going to need to left justify that so when we start typing, it'll go this direction. So we'll click here, and then we'll line that up. All right. So essentially, what we have now is a nice little title that we can put over a wrestling clip. So we need to go and save this as, it's a new template, and we are going to say Wrestling Overlay, and we're going to publish it. Now, the nice thing is, is that when we jump into Final Cut Pro 10, this is going to be available, so we'll go ahead and, and I think we'll leave motion up. But I just so happen to have um, the uh, last wrestling meet that we filmed. You can hit E to put the highlighted clip on the timeline. We're going to shrink this up so we can see it a little bit better. And let's get it about here. So as you see, the wrestlers come out. This is about where they're going to start. So what I do, we're going to go to Titles. Um, all right, so Motion Templates. It actually puts Motion Templates in here. And this is the one, the Wrestling Overlay, that we just did. So I'm going to simply do this and stretch.
stretch it. Oops, didn't grab the edge very well. I'm going to stretch that all the way. And now I'm going to leave just a little bit because I typically get done about right here. And then there's the hand raise and everything. And what we'll do is maybe put some scores in there. And I'll show you that later. <clears throat> I like to do Command T to put. I don't like the abrupt changes. So what I like is for it to be nice and even. All right, so now I'm going to put, pull it in here a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change some things. This weight happens to be 170, so we're just going to change it to 170. This name is Nowlin. See how it conveniently just shoves it this way, and it'll go as far as it needs to. This one, I don't know, so we'll call him Jones. But let's say that you have the roster. All right, so now... <coughs> This one happens to be commentated, um, but as you can see, there's no scoreboard visible. So it's it's very nice to have the commentary so you can listen through. And if you listen through, well, we can scrub it to see if there's a takedown. And nothing there. They start back up again. And I think there's a takedown coming up right here. No, nope, that one didn't score either. So here's a takedown. So the gentleman in the blue, who is Nowlin, actually scored two points. So now here's the tricky part of it. What you have to do is you have to make sure that the uh, that the um, that the title is selected, and you can see that. In Final Cut Pro 10 is is by the yellow, so that is <coughs> highlighted. So what we're going to do is we're going to blade this, and that's a Command B. Now the reason you have to make sure that that's highlighted because if this was highlighted and you did Command B, you'd split this. But what we want is to split up here. Now it's zero to zero, but if we come over here and select this side of it, we can simply double click on that, make it a two. I like again to do command T to nicely go from one thing to another. So you can watch this now and on the right hand side it's going to change to two when we get to that takedown. Alright. So you see up here it changed to two. And as a presentation, this is pretty nice. We've we've had quite a few comments from from uh, from parents that they really like to to see the scores. Now the other thing is is if you scrub, they do some things. They're wrestling. They're wrestling. Okay, they stop. Now that is the period um, change. So now it's going from period one to period two. So again, we'll blade this to separate. I move it into the second half to, to the one on the right double click here so I get to change that whoops to not 12 but 2 um, and then I will command T and really you just go through the clip you go through the clip I'll turn the audio down I don't need it right now and you watch and you you just make sure that you've got everything so this is now moving to period 2 and there you go. Now, there is another um, there is another title that I really like in Final Cut Pro 10 that's already there. If you run it all the way to the bottom, the way I have it set up, it's there. And it is um, this is a score. So what I might do is bring this in. Because at the end of this, if this is a, a match at a school, and I'll go ahead and Command T to fade it in and out, it gives you the option. Let's say that this is the first match, and Kaysen pinned his guy, so he'll have a six. The other team will have zero. So that looks kind of nice. The other thing that's pretty neat about this is if you click on um, this region here what we have to do is select it over on the right hand side 
Now let's see if we can pull that up. The team team score. It's a little tricky sometimes to make sure that that it is. Okay. Oh, title. That's why <laughs> we're in the wrong location. Apologize. I do this all the time. You really can't tell. Now what we've done is we've got some high school logos available. Um, this happened to be against the Liberty Lancers. So with this particular title selected, um, I'm going to hit Zone 1. We're going to click this one. We're going to apply that clip. Um, and then for this one, let me select it again. For the second one, this is the home team, and that happened to be Pine Creek Eagles, so we're going to select that one. And so you've got a really nice Pine Creek Team 6, Liberty Lancers, and we use this with football helmets and things for football as well, but here's the effect when they get done with the, with the match. You've got the score there, and let's say it's third period by this time, and, and the scores have been uploaded. They bring them to the middle, and they shake hands, they declare the winner, and you've got your team scores. And what we, there's 14 weights in high school, and so that's what we've done, is we, we string it all. Now, it's a bit of editing, to be sure, but it's really nice for um, the, the viewers at home to be able to see all the information. And you can simply make an overlay like we did uh, and you can, you can have all kinds of things that show up. Alright, so hopefully that wasn't too complex and that made sense for what is nice to do for wrestling or any other sport you can think of that you'd like to show the scores. Um, this has been Greg Nowlin from Nowlin Studios. If you have any questions, go ahead and contact us with a comment below. And if you like this kind of content, go ahead and please subscribe to our, our channel. We'll be doing more of these kind of videos to help other folks out have the benefit of some of the things that we've learned. All right, so have a great night and have a super time editing.